Buenos dias, my fajitas. Gnome Shark here, and welcome back to Let's Play Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. We are still sneaking around Mugshot's casino penthouse hotel operation, and we are going to do the mission two to tango. Possibly one of my favoritest missions here. I think this is the one. It better be, because if it's not, and I'm sneaking over here for no reason, I'm going to be upset. And we're going to continue probably. Yeah, this is it. Okay, talking about pack stuff because Sly Cooper has a lot of space and time to talk about pack stuff and tell stories and all kinds of crazy crap. Talk about my speeding ticket that I got. My first speeding ticket driving into the city. Oh, God. Um, what else? We talked about a lot of stuff. About me kicking ass up at the running by guys panel. All kinds of good stuff. But, yeah, I, pretty, I guess that pretty much... Whoa, that was weird. Okay, I wanted, wanted to jump on this thing, but I grabbed it with my cane. That was weird. Anyway... But I guess that's enough for PAX Day 2. Play, played a lot of You Don't Know Jack for the Xbox with Liam. I really like it. I kind of think the announcer is annoying, but I like the style. It's like trivia, per, Trivial Pursuit, but it's well, not... Well, oh, here well, she is! Walked into my crosshairs. Sly Cooper. About time you showed up, Miss Fox. Was getting worried about you. Thought you took a wrong turn somewhere back in Paris. The only one making wrong turns is you, Sly. I'd suggest these, these are really hard, actually. There's, there, there's actually, I think there might be one, one or two more of missions like this. But you pretty much just run from Carmelita. Little dancing. I think I can help you out. Hmm, sounds romantic. As long as you don't mind dining in jail. Nah, I hear the service is lousy. Once I catch you, you'll know for yourself. Oh, we gotta run. Yep, and she shoots at you. So there is no time. There's a couple of like parts where you go inside and you have like a moment to breathe but for the most part you just gotta run and collect oh we, we got we got bottles to worry about too so this might be this could get tricky it's gonna get a little hairy and i have to tell his pack stories oh my god this might be really freaking difficult but here we go i'm gonna do it anyway why because this is gnome shark lp's channel and we do things the right way the man way the whoop the man which oh god we gotta move oh wait i gotta see i gotta see a safe see a safe we need this but yeah, anyway, PAX Day 3, um, what's something notable that happened? Bes oh, well, I'll tell you what, um, on the, I think it was the end of the first or the second day, <laughs> Liam, it'll, it'll, be in, it'll be in the vlogs that Liam 6 does, or Pair Strike or whatever, but we got off the bus and went to the wrong hotel. I'm dead serious, we went to the wrong hotel. The hotel we were staying at was the Boston Tremont. And we were like, hey, look, there's the Boston Tremont. Let's, let's get out. And we got off the bus and ran to it. It was, we got, we get there and we're like, hey, wait, this isn't our hotel. But what, what's it, what's it called? It's the Boston Fairmont. We're like, oh, crap. So we're in the middle of Boston. We've never, nobody knows where anything is. We have to go find our hotel. Luckily, I recognized the street we were on was one that I used to drive in to get to Boston. So I kind of pointed us in a general direction, but we had to consult a map. But we, we found our way back. It's pretty funny. I can't I can't do the story justice here, but it'll... Oh, tell me I can press X on this. Oh, I mean, circle. Oh, thank God. But hopefully the vlogs will do it justice. I'll, I'll, I'll include some of the vlogs I'm in. That Liam Six and Pear Strike show! I knew it would... No! No! That doesn't count as a double, right? You can't combo that shit. No, you can't. That doesn't work. You can't combo that. Ah, uh, make it. Okay, checkpoint. Nice. And we got 23 bottles. Okay, the bottles probably are... They probably put them in easy spots, considering you're constantly on the run. But, yeah, that was pretty nuts. But PAX Day 3 was pretty good. Even though PAX ended a little early, I needed to drive Duvin back to the airport. Um, did a lot of hanging out with Nintendo Capri Sun, like last time at PAX Prime, we played some Rock Band, uh, you know, we played some Smash and stuff, you know, like, that, all that good stuff. But, okay, can I hear you? Carmelita can't see us. Uh, and PAX 3, you know, Day 3 always gets a little emotional with the... How do I get these doggies to move? With the goodbyes and everything, but I think I could just sneak around this jerk off and smack him in the back. Boom, what are you doing taking a smoking break on the job, man? You can't do that. Somebody, some raccoon's gonna sneak up behind you and beat the crap out of you with a cane. How do I get up there? How do I go get that? I probably have to go up here, right? This is probably what I have to do. Yep. Oh no, I forgot to press X. Ah, damn it. I wonder if there's, wonder if one of, I wonder if one of Sly's ancestors has like some sort of ancient uh, anti-gravity technique that lets him not be affected by, not lose a lucky charm when gravity wants to kill him. Anyway, when gravity wants to kill him. Eight, uh, wait, I was gonna guess and I was gonna say eight something, but oh well, wrong again. With the guessing. All right, we got another page from the Thievius Raccoonus. Uh -huh. it's Sir Andrew, Andrew Cooper. Cooper's thief replica technique. What the heck is this? He used to make fake stand -ups on no way. Like fake cardboard, like fake cardboard sly. 
put together a fake slime. Wait, that'll be so awesome. Wait, I gotta try this. Decoy. If I put a like, that'll be so cool. That's like so awesome. Wait, hold on. Let's see. Let me go over here. Uh, okay. Oh, it's like a little shadow. But <laughs> it waves. That's actually pretty cool. I, I wonder if it, I wonder if it works. I'm not too sure. Let me go put back myself back on roll because I accidentally pressed the triangle button thing and I'm gonna roll all the time and I never do and I wind up dying. But we'll try out the decoy. But not now. Right now we gotta. Carmelina is gonna meet back with us and try to shoot us with that shock pistol bazooka thing she has. Yup, up, oh, right on time. The bitch is back. We just gotta jump and run. Oh boy. Okay. Yup. The second half. The second half of these things are usually very platforming intensive. Oh, come on, what? Through the hole? Through the hole? Come on. Jeez. You know. Come on. All right, well, anyway, here we go. Jump. Get on the thing. flippity doo da. zippity a. My, oh, my. What a wonderful day. jump rooney jump rooney Jump spaghetti. Here we go. Here we go. Jump, jump, jump. Double do. Double do. Oh, my gosh. When is it over? When is it over? The music, the, the fast-paced music makes it sound much faster paced than it really is. Here we go. Circle button. Square, circle. Square, up uh, dead X. I mean X. Replace all squares with X's. Go. Oh. Uh, tell you, oh, is that the treasure key? Oh wait, there, I think there's a treasure key up there. Oh, there it is. Oh my God, get it, get it. Jump on the mattress. Jump on the conveniently placed mattresses. Oh, what? Oh, there we go. Okay. You can't run forever. Yes, I can. <laughs> and the mugshot balloon. It flies away. All right, we got all. Oh, what the heck was with my voice there? Oh, we got all several of Mugshot's treasure keys. Which means we can go fight the boss at this time. And I have no idea how long that took. And the mug, the, actually the Mugshot fight is actually kind of hard. But I'm gonna go pop open the door and just, um, oh God, get away from me. I'm gonna go pop open the Mugshot door. And I don't know how long it's gonna be because I lost track of time, so there's probably not gonna be a hello, goodbye kind of thing going on. But I'll probably just take like the time if it goes over and like divide it by two and then just make it like a halfway mark. And so the mugshot, mugshot fight might be a thing by itself. I don't know, maybe maybe two to tango actually only took four minutes. And um, we, we got like 10 more to spare, who knows? But we're gonna go fight mugshot anyway and be done with you, Tua. Are we done with hey, Let me see, I'm gonna view the map with my select button. Have we got all the key? Ah, oh, we got all the keys. And you know what that's, you know what that is? That's completion, and it <sighs> smells good. Anybody get that reference? If you get that reference, you are a cool Gnome Shark fan. Oh, come on, Did what? That ugly mug? I am, uh, and I find it infinitely fascinating. fascinating. What is this? Oh, did I not? Oh, I must have not walked near enough before. <laughs> you had to use secret X-ray technology to tell that there's an elevator behind that, huh, Bentley? <laughs> behind the locked wall. It's not locked. Okay. Oh crap! I spilled my water everywhere. I went to drink some water. Anyway, well, I guess I just never walked close enough for that cutscene to trigger. Okay. What's the boss fight called? Last call. I like that. Now this is weird. If you ask me, the style of this fight and the style of Raleigh's fight should have been switched. Oh, hold on. Here you go. My boys have been yapping about some big mysterious dude running around cracking skulls and, <laughs> and and this is it? You're the monkey wrench in my operation? Some scrawny rat with a stick. Uh, wait a second. I seen that stick before. Maybe when my father knocked your block off with it. Your father? Your father? <laughs> You're a Cooper? You know that thing is Rakamagookas. Oh. Got a lot of nice pictures, <laughs> but way too many big boys. So you don't mind just handing it over? Why? <laughs> what are you kidding? You break into my place, steal my stuff, trash the joint. I feel transgressed and violated. <laughs> Let's rock. I feel transgressed and violated. There's something I need to say more in my daily speech. Okay, this is weird, cause like these crystals like jut out of the ground. And Mugshot's got guns, and, uh, well, that was gonna happen. But Mugshot can't miss. He can't. If you're really, really far away, he might miss, but he's not gonna miss. And the only way to get him to miss is to time when he shoots and get behind a crystal. And you just kind of flick, oh god, and you kind of flick these mirrors, and they point at the crystals, and then, like, they heat up, and then, like, it gets really hot, and then, I guess, Mugshot likes it cold, so he gets burned. But Sly doesn't get burned, because Sly likes warmer climates. 
I, I, I don't know. I can't figure this one out. But come on, Sly, hit the mirror. Oh my god, I missed one. Oh, ugh. okay, here we go. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe Mugshot will miss more than I think he will. But yeah, he just kind of gets burned. Oh, and it, and it breaks his guns for some reason. But we go upstairs, and it just seems like this kind of style of a fight would have worked better with Raleigh, the machinist. Because, you know, he could have had like a laser gun or something, and the Mugshot fight could have been like more physical. Like, Mugshot could have been like, could have had guns, yeah, but he could have like tried punching you and stuff. Like, you know, like a cool, like, and Sly could have been like dodging him. And like, you could have like pressed the circle button to dodge Mugshot. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. That. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the game shouldn't have been like that at all. Oh my god, miss! Get the thing. Get behind a crystal. Oh. Get behind a crystal! Hit the mirror. Okay. Which ones have I missed? Okay, I see, I see one over there. No, don't get stuck. Okay, here we go. Ah! Okay, here we go. We're good, we're good, we're good. This is a good spot to be. This is a good spot to be in. Just shoot the guns. Oh, what? Come on, I was perfectly safe. Ah. Uh, all right, here we go. Back to square one. And what did I do with all my lives? I remember I had ten lives before. I guess they went away. Unless I must have started sucking. But here we go. We're gonna do this systematically because this is the because missing one mirror is what screws you. Because if you miss one mirror, it's like you gotta like run all the way back across. Yeah, bam. Do it systematically. And he can, that was a pretty awesome scream. <laughs> but we just gotta like have a plan. We just gotta do it like a like 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 washing a elephant. We, we gotta just do it like with a plan in mind. Boom. We gotta take care of this side. Okay. We're gonna go over here. I think if he shoots the- if you get it- if you accidentally aim it so he shoots the mirrors, they re-flip. Which is not good. But, Okay, boom. Alright, I see it. We're gonna do this systematically. We're gonna- oh, We're gonna get back over here, shoot the- shoot the crystal mug. Shoot the crystal mug. Okay. Oh god, whoa, 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 okay. Let's hit this. I don't know which way to go now. I really don't. Alright. I really don't. Oh, you know what? He'll shoot whenever you're in line with him, I think. Oh, no way! Oh god, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? He knows my every move. Oh. Okay, shoot the crystal mug. Come on. Ah, oh, this is bad. Oh, this is real bad. Oh, this is Thingus Ragamagookus. Please tell me I got it, because, okay. Oh, that one, I think I think this one's harder than this, than this third one here. This is the last one. It's gimmicky, but if you get the rhythm down, and I'm a very rhythm-oriented player, I think, you can do it. You can do it. So you just gotta jump press, you gotta do, like, your thing. Get, oh, crap. Okay, get behind it, because if he shoots it, the mirror will flip. Oh, wait, this, yeah, I don't want to do this. Hold on. Have him shoot it. Smack it. Okay, and we got to get over to that next mirror. And do dodging mugshot here is rather impossible. Um, it, it might be possible, but it's damn sure difficult. But if you're, if you're quick enough, you can do this one. If you, if you know, the, if you know, oh, God, if you know the rhythm, you can do this pretty well. Okay, you know what, uh, let's just be safe because it's the last one. Better safe than sorry. I'm gonna smack this mirror and go look at the little picture of Mugshot down on the right in the left corner. <laughs> because he's got no health left and that should burn him for the final time. There we go. I don't know what the mirrors and the crystals idea is about, but oh well. Hey, we got me. You're the one who put the mirrors and the crystal magic in your place. You're gonna have to go down to Haiti and cross paths with Miss Ruby. And oh, Miss Ruby. You don't want to be you. Yeah. Miss Ruby. Mugshot section of the Phoebeus Raccoonus contain an entry from my gunslinging ancestor, Tennessee Kid Cooper. His specialty was the rail walk and rail slide. Moves perfected through a lifetime of theft in the Old West. Getting out of town proved to be a little more challenging than getting in. Having just missed us, Inspector Fox went for the next best thing and dragged that canine steroid case off to jail. That was the end of Mugshot's gambling empire, and Mesa City's citizens soon returned home. While me and the boys, well, we enjoyed the rest of our stay in America, and then returned to Paris ready for our next mission. All right. Yep, the third mission here is the is Miss Ruby. We go down to Haiti in like some uh, Haitian right, swamp. To and it's weird. This is the this is the uh, fourth mission. It's 
pretty awesome. It's in China. I don't know if you can see that, but it's weird. I don't actually like it at all. And just like I was talking about with the Buckshot fight, of course, I'm just going to talk about how it could have been better. I don't know. I'm in like a how video games could be better streak lately, but I put down the controller. My hands are free because... Oh, they're actually too sweaty to snap, really, but because it is time to say goodbye, and I hope you enjoyed me talking about PAX, because that's all I kind of really did through the end of that, but it had to be done. And I hope to see you next time over at Haiti to do some Miss Ruby action in the swamp. Some of that swamp music. ba down bow bow But I digress and say goodbye. What, what is that? Is that Murray going, oh? Oh, he's playing a video game. Yeah, just like me. Me and Murray playing video games. It's what we do. It's a hobby. It's good stuff. It's a hobby. It's a way of life. You better eat, breathe it, live it. Porridge.